Okay, let's start by routing some pipe in Plant 3D. We do this by pressing the Route Pipe button in the Part Insertion tab on our wrist. We could first select a line number from the Line Number drop-down. However, in this case, we're going to pick the unassigned value for our route. Having selected unassigned, we now hit the Route Pipe button so we can place pipe on our page. This is done by simply clicking the points on the path we would like the pipe to follow. When we are done routing, you press Enter to end the command. When we are ready to assign a line number to these components, we select them and bring up the Properties palette. The Properties palette will have Plant 3D properties, including the line number values. From this drop-down list, we can pick an existing line number or select New to assign a new line number to these components. This brings up the Assign Tag dialog, where you can enter a new line number to assign to the components. This line number is also registered in the project, so it is available on the drop-down list in our ribbon. Selecting this line number from the drop-down will set it as our current line number value. Now any new pipe that is routed will automatically get the new line number value. Another item we can control from the Part Insertion tab on our ribbon is the piping spec. The piping specs control end connection types, flange ratings and facings, default branch types through the branch table, and the valve types allowed in the spec. You choose a spec through the spec drop-down. In this case, we choose SS150 for a stainless steel 150-pound spec. If you want more detail about what is in your spec, you can select Spec Viewer from the ribbon. This will bring up a dialog that shows detail about the different components in the spec. The top part of the dialog is the spec sheet, showing the components and groupings, where the bottom part of the dialog will show more detail of any selected line item. You can see as we select the plug valves, more detail on each available valve is shown at the bottom. Or if we were to select the butterfly valves, more details for these valves would be shown. Selecting a particular valve in the part sizes section of this dialog will allow you to insert that particular part into the model by pressing the Insert in Model button. Here we insert a 4-inch butterfly valve into our existing run of pipe. You can also use the Spec Viewer to create a tool palette for all the components in this spec. You simply select the Create Tool Palette button, and this will create a tab in your tool palettes containing all the components in this particular spec. Notice as we hit the Create Tool Palette button, we now have a tab called SS150 with all our components. Tool palettes give us a simple and familiar way to add components into our model. We will show this by inserting a flange set, a reducer, and then a T. First we select our weld neck flanges from the tool palette. Clicking on the flange, we then snap to the end of pipe to place the flange set. Next, we select the reducer from the tool palette, again clicking on the reducer, snapping to the end of pipe, we then place the reducer. Finally, we will place a T in the middle of an existing run of pipe. We select the T from the tool palette and snap to the pipe to insert the T. We use the compass tool to orient the open branch of the T. From this open branch, we can continue to route by selecting the plus or the continuation grip on this branch. Of course, the inserted fittings will match the size, spec, and line number of the connected pipe. As you can see, routing pipe with AutoCAD Plant 3D is simple, straightforward, and allows you to leverage all your existing AutoCAD skills and AutoCAD tools that are available today.